We all know about climate change because everybody's talking about climate change. But what you have to know is that climate change will be more important in alpine environment because of this changing in temperature. In the long term, this is a real threat uh, for alpine region. If we look at shorter time, we can see that uh, the development of tourism in the Alps because people want to be in the nature, want to have uh, ski, uh, hiking, and this created development of ski resorts. And this development uh, have an impact on the flora and on the habitats. So we're here in the Swiss Alps at the moment as part of the Alpine Seed Conservation and Research Network. This is a project which is managed by Kew Gardens and it involves partners from across the Alps, bringing them together from Austria, Switzerland and Italy and France. There's various parts to this project. One is the conservation of 500 species of plants from across the Alps. Another is research. We have um, three PhD students, two at the universities in Austria and one in Italy, uh, and also a master's student. And we're also forming this network of specialists from across the Alps in um, training up younger scientists to continue this important work conserving the diversity of the Alpine region. This project is focusing on alpine species and particularly those that are threatened so when we uh, devised the the list for collection uh, we use the IUCN red list of threatened plants so that we can target those which are already in danger in addition to that we're collecting some less threatened species as well because they are likely to be threatened in the future and we want to conserve that genetic diversity now so when we're in the field we're collecting seeds and then They'll go back to the seed bank in the country where they're collected for processing. We clean the seeds and then we put them in a dry room. We put them in hermetic glasses, uh, which keeps the humidity. And then we can put them in the freezer at minus 18. So they can be conserved for 10 years, 30 years, 50 years, maybe more. So you can conserve about 98% of the flora in this way. As well as storing the seeds in the country of origin, a small portion is also sent to the Millennium Seed Bank at Kew Gardens for duplicate storage. It's a safety mechanism, so should something go wrong with one collection, we still have some seeds elsewhere. The Millennium Seed Bank is managed by the Royal Botanic Gardens Q and we work in partnership around the world to conserve plant diversity. And it's important that we conserve these species because all life is dependent on plants. In these banks, we store seeds, very old seeds, for example, uh, seed from the 1980 in uh, our seed bank in, in France. And these seeds are like a picture of the past. And if we can compare the plants we produce with the seeds from plants we have from nowadays, we can observe the changing between these two populations. And these changes can uh, show us how plants have evolved during these times. And we can link this change to climate change. The Alps are one of 24 centres of plant diversity in Europe and they are recognised as the most threatened and so it's really urgent that we undertake this work now to help conserve these species and prevent loss. So for me the great thing about this project is that it doesn't end after three years. The relationships that have been formed during this networking will continue for the rest of uh, those careers. So I think this will have really great outcomes for biodiversity in the Alps.